What's is going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 21st, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, nearly 70 U.S. personnel have suffered injuries in the strike, including traumatic brain injuries. But all but a handful of the troops have been able to return to duty uh, quickly. And this is coming out from the Pentagon. Let's stop here for a second. 70. 70? 70. My, my, my. Uh, I like the part where they added... They quickly return back to duty. Like, everything is cool, you know. It's 70, but everything is fine. It's a little bandage and, you know, just a little ankle was, uh, you know, impacted eardrums. But everything is fine. They're back and doing their stuff. Mm. This, is, uh, this is what we talked about yesterday. And uh, yesterday, it was only two. And I, I did post a video last night that... that there were ballistic uh, fire towards these, uh, this region. So um, I also warned that there's a possibility, maybe a response, but uh, there hasn't been no response. Not one from the sleeping giant. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer request you can send it to me Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 guys I want to bring this up really quick uh, big breaking news coming out sea mines being deployed all right so this is happening right now in a red hot region we are talking about the sea all right look at that picture you see all the mines uh, they're gonna be setting uh, setting that up when I say day those group from Yemen, all right? So they're going to be setting up all that. And uh, you guys already know is to stop um, any ship from entering. Um, again, a sleeping giant ship and other country ship. Uh, except for the bear and the red dragon, China and uh, Russia. This ship are good to go. All right. So uh, we're going to see what's going on. Um, hmm. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, I... I might make a video of this separate. Um, actually, it's not that much information. So again, uh, this morning in Yemen, you have uh, the naval forces of the country has begun deploying anti-ship uh, sea mines with the purpose of uh, stopping the sleeping giant and or British uh, ship from entering. All right, so a lot of information is coming out about that sea mine. And uh, like I said, I'm going to keep you updated on that story. But let's go with this one here. Let's see what's going on with uh, the sleeping giant troops in Rirak. Follow me on the words. All right, 70. That's the number. 70. But but again, it's all right. Everything is cool. All right, they, they back in duty. Everything's fine. Just a little brain boom. You know, they got head in the head. But everything is fine. I like the way they put that out there. Everything is good. It's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So at least two sleeping giant service members stationed in Rest and Wyrack injured. We're going to skip this here. All right. We're going to scroll down because this is the update right here. From two, nearly 70. Seventy sleeping giant personnel have suffered injuries in a strike, including traumatic brain. I mean, stuff like this, it takes a while to heal, right? I mean, you, I mean, you can have a traumatic brain injury and then the next day you're throwing them back in duty. I mean, it takes time, right? But all but a handful of the troops have been able 
to return to duty. Once again, guys, there is a number of New Jersey soldiers also going to this region. All right. Uh, from what I heard, there's a possibility, maybe 1,500, maybe more. All right. So they are, and I did post a video uh, three weeks ago. So they're going to head towards this region so they could help uh, sleeping giant soldiers out there. Persia linked group in Iraq known collectively as the, you know, what and who count themselves as part of Persia Network all Give me, uh, give me a second here. Persian network of allies across the Mid-E claim in the statement that this last latest event was a response to ISR war in the Strip. There was no mention of the strike in Siri. Give me a second here, guys. I want to take you back here really quick. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find this info, guys. Uh, here we go. So, this was posted eight hours ago. I just got home from church. It's very important that people spend time with the Lord. It's not two. And it's not 70. It's more than that. Give me a second here, guys. It's... It seems like they tr uh, they're really, really trying to keep this, uh, like, like really quiet, all right? So, once again, the Seattle Times, they are putting out the information. And you guys already know Seattle Times is a big, uh, uh, it's a big news, uh, news website out there. The question is, uh, why is nobody talking about it? Let's go up here really quick. Give me a second. Let's go up here really quick. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to skip certain things. So this happened yesterday. The strike, they, uh, those uh, those group, the bad ones, they fire ballistic missiles, all right? So towards the Sleeping Giant base. So ever since uh, October 7, that's when situation has been boiling between uh, the Sleeping Giant base and Persians uh, group, Iranians are bad groups. So a sleeping giant officials cautioned that initial information was sketchy and that the number of those impacted could grow as damage reports from uh, officers in Iraq the pass up the chain of command. A number of sleeping giant military personnel were being evaluated for look at that traumatic, you know what injuries and Iraqi soldier was also injured. All right, so this is uh, this here is big. So uh, sleeping giant officials saying that the numbers could go up. So it's not two; it's seventy, seventy plus, from what I heard. The event against uh, this base, the sleeping giant base in Iraq, which came at six thirty p.m. local time, where the latest and the most serious of roughly one hundred forty such powerful uh, missiles. Uh, strikes against the sleeping giant base in Iraq and Siri since the ISR and this group war started. At least 10 rockets and 7 short range uh, were fired at the sleeping giant base, with two making it through air defense system. And the most successful event uh, the militia had, uh, had carried out so far. So this is the biggest one. This here is the biggest one out of 70 plus or 100. I lost count. I think it's more than 100 out of all those strike. This here is the biggest one. The question is, what is Mr. Byrne going to do about it? Nothing. That's all Mr. Bar uh, Byrne is doing right now. Uh, so once again, guys, ISR and Hellsbull, another Persian ally, have traded fires across the lab border. These group 
in Yemen, also backed by Persia, has fire missile and drones at commercial, you know, warship in the Red Hot region. So Persia has a lot of uh, groups out there doing uh, some some of their operations. See, Persia sits in a corner and you know they kind of hide from the action same thing like the sleeping giant they hide in the corner and they use nato to you know take actions against the bear when it comes to ukr uh crane so again guys sometimes you have these certain lands that uh pay money for small ones to do the you know dirty jobs all right so once again guys uh, this was going on right now 70 plus and this is the biggest one so far. And give me a second here, guys. Then on Saturday, Persia accused ISR of launching uh, strikes on Syria, cap you know, the mask that has taken five Persian fighters soon after the missile uh, impacting Sleeping Giant base. My question is, how come Persia, why is Persia too scared to hit ISR? Why you got to hit the Sleeping Giant base? If Persia don't like ISR, how come uh, Persia does not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with ISR? Strike him, Persia! Do what you got to do. I mean, your ancestors, uh, the Babylonians, they did what they did. But uh, again, uh, we all know what happened to them. <laughs> So, we know what happened to those who mess around with the ISR. Uh, again, the, the Philistines, you saw what happened to them. The Philistines uh, against, uh, you know, King David. The Philistine against, you know, first King uh, Saul, but he did pretty bad. Until uh, Jonathan came in and, uh, you know, uh, with, you know, having faith that God will defeat the Philistine. And that's what happened. Uh, God uh, help uh, ISR defeat the Philistines. But uh, again, history uh, speaks about ISR obliterating their enemies because of God. All right, not man, but again, because God uh, defends ISR. But Persia seems like they kind of uh, a little spook with ISR. They don't want to just launch towards them. But they do it and they launch towards, actually, they didn't. Uh, they're not even launching. They're giving the green lights to their little radicals. All right. So once again, guys, uh, there are 2,500 sleeping giant boots out there. 900. Okay. So 2,500 in Iraq, 900 in Syria. Helping to support Iraq and Kurt's uh, forces in a fight to tamp down the remains of the ISIS. Now, Sleeping Giant officials in Washington said Saturday that it was not immediately clear if these groups struck in Iraq were related to the earlier strike in Syria. But uh, again, you guys get the picture here. 70 plus from what I heard. That number could go up. Persia linked a uh, group in Iraq known collectively as the Axis of You Know What and who count themselves as part of Persia network of allies across the Middle East claimed in a statement that this latest event was a response to ISR, Biblical War, in the Strip. There was no mention of the strike in Syria. And that's where we at. 70 plus. That's the number. 70 sleeping giant personnel have been impacted. And now, Persian, uh, Persia has another group, and they're doing their part, those group. They're setting up mines. Sea mines being deployed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to keep you updated on this story. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. 
holiday flop at 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.